For starters, it didn't sound like your 2-2 plays with the opening 15 minutes or so, but it kind of improved after that, I guess. What did you see in that first half? No, and I think we fall victim to our own experience, whether it's we do have players that are out of college or players that play at a high level in college, and we have the tendency to try to play our way into games when, when this league, I mean, I guess any league, but how you start a game is so crucial to to getting on the front foot or being on the back foot. So, and again, we played our way into it. I've started to become a little more accustomed to it. Still not okay with it, obviously, but um, we'll get there. Um, similar to last time, it was the same Dewey opener. Three nothing at halftime. Three nothing at the end. Did it feel like the last one here at all? Identically. Um, came out of the locker room, said game finishes no worse than four nothing, and. We couldn't find a way to get that fourth one. And again, it wasn't from a lack of chances. Again, were we were we as attacking minded as we were in the second half as we were in the first half? No, um, but we still created chances, and we weren't able to put that fourth one home. It, it, with Sam's, it almost feels like there was a wall in the net in the second half. Yeah, she's already had a laugh at herself. <laughs> I, I thought the referee was maybe going to call a pass back, but no, she'll. She, she, She'll make up for it. Uh, I'm curious about the, the squad tonight. It seemed like just about every sub you made wasn't necessarily like for like. It was almost someone would go in and then a position would shift. So I'm just curious about your, your thoughts on the diversity of, of the positions that were on the bench tonight. I think what you've seen all year is we have players that can play multiple positions. Um, fortunately, the 3-0 at halftime allowed me to do things to not only keep that 3 nothing leading it, we were organized again defensively in the second half, but... You know, we got a big one next Friday, and having players, the addition, the addition of Annika, um, you know, it's a home game next Friday, so hopefully Aliyah's back, and we may not have Hal um, for college purposes. So we just got to make sure that everybody's as comfortable with each other as we possibly can be. Um, referencing that next one, you're now to the point where it's, you win one game and you're in the playoffs. At the beginning of the season, would you have taken that? Absolutely. No. Um, I think after the Louisville results, it's great. We have a window to slip up. I didn't expect us or hope to slip up as early as we did. So the message since that St. Charles game has been, girls, our next three games are playoff games. So we've got the first two down, right? Um, yeah, but now one more. Win and you're in, right? So it definitely it throws a little bit of extra pressure on the girls, but hopefully that's good positive pressure and, and we respond to it. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, you, you guys got to get out there next Friday. I right? complained about not having a playoff game next year, and I was right there with you and not being able to host, but Friday night is a playoff game, so get out there, fill Grand Park up, and look forward to seeing you guys.